but what about his dialogue there wasn't much time left and he still didn't know what he was supposed to do or say patel babu as naresh has asked him to wait there he is just standing there and waiting but he doesn't have any clarity regarding the role which he is going to play and about his dialogue he's just standing there patel babu suddenly felt a little nervous all of a sudden because see as we have already discussed so many years back this man used to act on a stage now after seeing the setting and all even though he is standing by the side and waiting for his role he became nervous all of a sudden should he ask somebody there was narish that there should he go and remind him it didn't matter if the part was small but if he had to make the most of it he had to learn his lines beforehand how small he would feel if he muffed in the presence of so many people the last time he acted on stage was 20 years ago so what is he doing there standing there and waiting but in his mind it is pinching him telling that if the role is very small it is not a problem because if the role is small definitely the dialogues will also be very small for that there is no need for him to take more strain but if the role is big and if he need to tell so many dialogues definitely because he is going to act in front of so many people so many people are there around him everybody looking will be looking at him so he need to be careful he wanted to be very careful and cautious so in his mind he is thinking if the role is small it is okay but if the role is big he till now he doesn't have any idea and he doesn't know when these people are going to call him for acting so he is thinking like that if the role is big it will become a very big problem for him so thinking all these things is becoming nervous because as we have already discussed that this man last time he acted almost 20 years back after 20 years all of a sudden he got this chance and he is in the spot but he doesn't know the role in which he is going to play and the dialogue what he should tell so thinking all these things he is becoming nervous now patel babu was about to step forward when he was pulled up short by a voice shouting silence when he thought of thinking when he thought all these things he thought of moving forward going near that narish that and ask him about the dialogue and all but before he take a step he heard a voice telling silence this was followed by narish that loudly announcing with hands cupped over his mouth we are about to start shooting everybody please stop talking don't move from your positions and don't crowd around the camera please so when a person he heard a voice only voice he doesn't know who made that word and from uh, whom it is coming he just heard the voice silence and followed that that narish that he started announcing that they are going to start the shooting and he asked all the people who are standing there to be silent and he also requested them not to come near the camera once again the voice was hard shouting silence taking now patu babu could see the owner of the voice so till now the voice is telling the words he is able to hear the voice but he did not see the person who is making the voice but now after this he saw the person patu babu he saw the person who is making means the owner of the voice the means the person who is making that sound he was a stout man of medium height and he stood by the camera around his neck hung something which looked like a small telescope was he the director how strange he hadn't even bothered to find out the name of the director so here finally when he saw the man the man he is a stout stout person and he is holding something in his neck and here patel babu is telling it, it looks like a telescope so it is nothing but a camera and he got it out seeing the person maybe he is the director and he is feeling bad that he did not try to enquire the name of the director till then until he see the person now 
A series of shouts followed in quick succession. Start sound, running, camera, rolling, action. So here the word quick succession. You can see the meaning of the word. Quick succession means coming of one thing after the other. Quick succession means coming of one thing after the other. So why this word is used here? As they started, once, once they asked the people to be silent, one after another, they, they are about to start the work. So what all the words have come? Start, sound, running, camera, rolling, action. All these words, one after another, all have come in an order. Patel Babu noticed that as soon as the word action was said, a car came up from the crossing and pulled up in front of the office entrance. So Patel Babu is uh, standing there and he is observing what is going on. When the director said action, immediately a car came and stopped in front of the entrance of the office and the door opened and a man came out of the car. Then a young man in a grey suit and pink makeup shot out of the back of the car, took a few hurried steps towards the entrance and stopped abruptly. So what happened? The car came and it stopped in front of the entrance of the office. A person came out with, he is in grey suit. He came out of the car from the back side of the car and he hurried quickly towards the entrance and he stopped abruptly. Abruptly means at once. Abruptly means at once. This man, he started moving towards the entrance and he stopped all of a sudden. It means abruptly, at once he stopped. The next moment, Patul Babu heard the shout cut and immediately the hubbub from the crowd resumed. So hubbub. Hubbub means noise. The noise from the crowd resumed means it started again. So the person came there and he came out of the car. He stopped there all of a sudden and when the director said cut with the small uh, scene only they stopped the shooting. When the director said cut again all the people started moving here and there. They started all type of noise everything got started. A man standing next to Patul Babu now turned to him. I hope you recognize the man, the young fellow, he asked. So as Patul Babu is standing near a pan shop and he's waiting there, another person who is standing with him after the scene got stopped. The other person asked Patul Babu whether he knew the person, the young person who came out of the car. Why? No, said Patul Babu. So Patul Babu said that he, he doesn't know the person, he doesn't know him. Chanchal Kumar, said the man, he is coming up fast, playing the lead in four films at the moment. So the man introduced this person, means he told the name of the person, his name is Chanchal Kumar. And according to that man, this Chanchal Kumar is the leading film actor of that time. Patul Babu saw very few films, but he seemed to have heard the name Chanchal Kumar. At where it was probably the same boy Koti Babu was praising the other day. Nice makeup and fellow had on. If he had been wearing a Bengali dhoti and Punjabi instead of a suit and given a peacock to ride on, he would make a perfect god Kartik. Monotosh of Kancharapara, who was better known by his nickname Chinu, had the same kind of looks. He was very good at playing female parts, recalled Patol Babu. So here when he said about the person, his name is Chenchal Kumar, Patel Babu even though he saw few films, he uh, felt as if he heard the name somewhere. He felt as if the name is familiar to him. 
so this man looking and all how is how is his appearance everything patel babu was recollecting see as you people whenever you saw any person or any film actor will be comparing with others who have the same uh, features and all how we compare the people here also patel babu try to compare the features of uh, this person chenchal babu to the person whom you, he knew very well Patel Babu now turned to his neighbor and asked in a whisper, "Who is the director?" Now, see, previously when he saw the person, he got it out because he could, he did not inquire the name of the director till that time. So now, as he got a chance, because the other person is telling the names of the people as if they, he knew them. So immediately, Patel Babu he wanted to solve his uh, means. He wanted to know the name of the director. So he questioned him to know the name of the director. The main raised his eyes eyebrows and said why don't you know he is baron mulak he is had three smash hits in a row so finally the director name is baron mulak and he is a very famous director continuously his three movies are super hit this is the reply what patel babu received from that other person well at least he had gathered some useful information it wouldn't have done for him to say he didn't know if his wife had asked in whose film he had acted and with which actor so maybe so this information as he's standing there finally he is able to gather some useful information to him so in what way it is useful for him maybe after going home if his wife question him in which movie who is who is the movie, director of your movie in which you have acted with which actor you are acting in the movie so sir for such questions finally he got some useful answers narish dat now came up to him with tea as in a small clay cup so when he is standing there itself narish dat he came bringing a clay a clay cup so a cup of tea to uh, our patel babu here you are sir the hot tea will help you throat your turn will some come shortly so he gave the uh, cup of tea and told so your turn will come very shortly have this tea so that your throat will be cleared patel babu now had to come out with it if you let me have my lines now your lines come with me so finally he took the tea he took that uh, clay cup and he questioned narish that about his role his dialogue so when he asked for the dialogue narish that asked him to follow him narish that went towards the three legged instrument with patel babu at his heels i say shoshanko a young fellow in a short sleeve shirt turned towards narish that this gentleman wants his lines why don't you write them down on a piece of paper and give it to him he is the one who i know i know shoshanko now turned to patel babu so narish that what he did he asked patel babu to follow him finally they went to a person named shashanko after going there but, but um, narish that asked shashanko to write the dialogue of patel babu on one paper and give it to him and he tried to in introduce patel babu to shashanko but shashanko said that he knew him early shashanko now turned to patel babu shashanko he turned towards patel babu come along grandpa so shashanko asked addressed patel babu as grandpa and asked him to come with him i say jyoti can i borrow your pen for a second grandpa wants his lines written down the youngster jyoti produced a red dot pen from his pocket and gave it to shashanko shashanko tore off a page from the notebook he was carrying scribbled something on it and handed it to patel babu so for this shashanko what he did he went to a person named jyoti and requested to give a pen he took the pen tore a page from the book which he is handing and he scribbled he wrote something on the paper and gave it to patel babu patel babu glanced at the paper and found that a single word had been scribbled on it ho oh. so finally what shashank wrote on the paper he wrote only a single word seeing that and do you know what is that word it is just ho oh. one word is written on the paper so finally the dialogue which is patel babu is going to tell is only one 
dialogue it is a monosyllabic dialogue it is ho that's all patel babu felt a sudden throbbing so patel babu how did he feel seeing that word he suddenly felt throbbing so throbbing means beating all of a sudden he felt throbbing seeing that single word because this person is expecting few dialogues but seeing a single word on the paper he felt as if he was beaten with by somebody he wished he could take off his jacket the heat was unbearable so already the climate is not good the costumes what he is wearing is not comfortable with those costumes so after seeing this word he got irritated and he thought of removing his jacket and he is feeling very bad now seeing that dialogue shashanko said what's the matter grandpa you don't seem so pleased so shashanko is able to understand the features the feelings in patel babu's face so he asked grandpa what happened why why are you look not looking so pleasant why are you so unpleasant he questioned where these people pulling his leg was the whole thing a gigantic hoax a meek harmless man like him and they had to drag him into the middle of the city to make a laughing stock out of him who oh, could anyone be so cruel so this person is thinking in his mind as if he is go his he has become a puppet means a joking figure dragging him into this many people and he doesn't have any dialogue to say only single word he need to say he did not understand why these people are making fun out of him patel babu said in a hardly audible voice i find it rather strange so finally he is unable to speak hardly in a audible voice he still i find it strange he said that he if he is not feeling good about that why grandpa so immediately shashanko questioned him why is he feeling strange about it just oh is that all i have to say so why when this shashanko asked him why is he so unpleasant and why is he feeling it strange patel babu is telling like this just who means just who dialogue is that all i have to say is it the only one word i have to say is the question asked by patel babu to shashanko shashanko saibro shot up shashanko saibro moved upward in an up direction what are you saying grandpa so what are you saying why are you telling like that grandpa you think that's nothing why this is a regular speaking part a speaking part in a baran mulla mulla film do you realize what that means why you are the luckiest of actors do you know that till now more than a hundred persons have appeared in this film who have had nothing to say they just walked past the camera some didn't even walk they just stood in a spot there were others whose faces didn't register at all even today look at all those people standing by the lamp post they all appear in today's scene but have nothing to say even our hero chanchal kumar has no lines to speak today you are the only one who has see so here shashank how positive he is he just explained telling that it is great to get even such a small dialogue small word not even a complete dialogue small word for him so he should consider himself as the luckiest actor because here he told to patel babu that so many other people who are taking part in the film who they don't have any dialogue to say some people their faces also not registered properly some people they are not moving they are standing in a spot like that so many people have acted hundreds of people have acted in this movie till now so comparatively when patel babu compares with those all people he is really lucky because he got at least one word to say just instead of standing there he had just one word to say even Sachanko told that that particular day the hero of the movie itself he doesn't have any dialogue to say in that scene so where there no other people have dialogue this patel babu he had at least one word to say that is a very positive sign what shashanko is telling like this and he is trying to convince patel babu now the 
young man called Jyoti came up, put his hand on Patal Babu's shoulder and said, Listen, Grandpa, I'll tell you what you have to do. Chanchal Kumar is a rising young executive. He is informed that an emplacement has taken place in his office. So, misappropriation. Emplacement means it's a misappropriation. And he comes to find out what has happened. He gets out of his car and charges across the pavement towards the entrance. Just then he collides with an absent-minded pedestrian. That's you. You are hurt in the head and say ho. Oh. But Chanchal Kumar pays no attention to you and goes into the office. The fact that he ignores you reflects his extreme preoccupation. See, just think how crucial the shot is. So when still uh, Shashanko explained to Patal Babu this uh, about the importance of that one single word dialogue, immediately Jyoti comes there, keeps the shoulder on the keeps a hand on the shoulder of Patol Babu and says, explains the entire scene. So the scene goes on like this. Chanchal Kumar, he has his own office in which some misappropriation happens. So this person will be coming very fast. Means he will be going very fast into the office to inquire what, what happened, what is going on. While going into the office, he will collide. Means he will come across this person this patrol babu who is considered as a pedestrian there a person who is walking in that direction in that place he collides with him but he don't make any note that he met with another person means he collided with another person instead of making a note of that he rushes into the office so with this scene they want to convey the message that this chinchal kumar's mind is preoccupied with the instance what all happened in the office to show the gravity of that preoccupiedness they have created this scene the entire scene is explained to patal babu by jyoti i hope everything is clear now said shashanko now if you just move over to where you were standing the fewer people crowd around here the better there is one more shot left before your turn comes so finally after Jyoti explained the entire scene, everything is completed. Shashanko asked Patal Babu to go and stay back in the place where he was waiting previously. Because one more scene is there in the middle when until the turn of Patal Babu is, comes. Patal Babu went slowly back to the pan shop. Standing in the shade, he glanced down at the paper in his hand. Cast a quick look around to see if anyone is watching crippled the paper into a ball and threw into a roadside drain. So finally he went near the pan shop, he was waiting there and he rolled the paper and he threw into the nearby drain so that no other person see him, observe him, what is he doing there. Ho! Oh, a sign came out of the depths of his heart. Just one word, no, not even a word, a sound O. Oh. The heat was stifling. The jacket seemed to weigh a ton. Patal Babu couldn't keep standing in one spot anymore. His legs felt heavy. He moved up to the office beyond the pan shop and sat down on the steps. It was nearly half past nine. On Sunday morning, songs in praise of Goddess Kali were sung in Karali Babu's house. Patal Babu went there every week and enjoyed it. What if he were to go there now? What harm would there be? Why waste a Sunday morning in the company of these useless people and be made to look foolish on top of that? Silence. So finally, this man, he went back to the pawn shop there near a staircase. He was sitting and he was thinking. Every Sunday, he had an habit of going to his friend's house and listen to the music, means the songs sung on Goddess Kali. He used to enjoy those songs very well. Now leaving this Sunday, he left all those things and he is waiting here for these silly people because he doesn't have any major role to do there. He had only one single word, ho, not even a complete dialogue. It's a word according to the view of Patrol Babu. So he was thinking, now if I leave this place and go, what the harm I am going to do? What will happen? What are the consequences? He was sitting there and thinking these all things and all of a sudden he heard a voice silence once again. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up.
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल टू गेट मोर वीडियोस ऑन सीबीएसई सिलेबस